Hey there, I'm Patrick. I'm one of the outdoor guides for the Appalachian Mountain Club. I work on adult and family programming up here in the White Mountains of New Hampshire. We're here today, we're talking about trekking poles. We're gonna talk a little bit about what to look for if you're buying a new set of trekking poles. We're gonna talk about how to use them. Uh, we're gonna talk about why to use them. You know, the main reason I love using trekking poles is for balance. Uh, out here, we've got a lot of rocks, we've got a lot of rivers, a lot of streams to cross. So the trekking poles give you two more points of contact with the ground to help you stay upright. Everyone stumbles, everyone has the chance to fall out there. So these will really reduce that chance a lot by giving you more grip and more control. As we get ready for a hike, there's two main things that we want to do to make sure our poles fit us. Um, we want to extend for our specific height, and we'll show you how to do that in a second. Um, but the other thing that we want to do is make sure that both sections of the pole are extended the same amount or almost the same amount. Um, that is to help the pole stay good for a longer amount of time. It's much easier to break a pole when you have one section extended all the way and the other sections extended not at all. Uh, this way the weight is going all on that one little section so it's going to be much more likely to break whereas if we did this both sections are close to even and your pole is going to last a little bit longer there and be less likely to break. All right now we're going to talk about setting up our poles um, and everyone's going to have to set these up a little bit differently depending on what kind of pole they have and their body height as well. Uh, but I have a classic flick lock pole, and that's this, this lock here, it's called the flick lock. So all I have to do with this pole is let the section out and then lock it up here. And the same thing for this section as well. And my pole is very helpful that it has um, little measurements on it, so I can measure how long I want the pole to be. Generally, I want the pole, when it's on the ground here, I want my arm to be making a right angle. So maybe this is just a little bit short for me. And there we go. I've got my bottom of the pole on a flat surface here. My arm is making generally a right angle. That means that this pole is set up for me to go um, just about anywhere. I can go uphill with a pole set up like this. I can go downhill. When I'm going uphill, maybe I want to shorten my pole. Uh, so I grip it down here. If I'm going downhill, my pole should be a little bit longer, so maybe I'll grip it here. Uh, some people will also adjust the length of the pole for going uphill and downhill, and that's okay too. Um, some other poles uh, have to be adjusted a little bit differently depending on the style of pole. Some poles lock in different ways as well, but uh, generally you'll find that if you have your arm at a right angle, you'll be good to go for most terrain. So I've got a couple different sets of trekking poles here today. Got three different versions, and there's all sorts of different ones on the market. But what you can look for um, that different brands have in common is two main styles here. So um, this pole here has a flick lock mechanism. You see. This little guy, you can flick it and lock it. And then it's not gonna slide on you and you can be safe and secure in your hiking. Same thing here, a little bit of a different pole, different brand, still a flick lock style here. Our other main mechanism that we have here for um, extending our poles and locking them is a twist lock. Here we're just gonna go righty tighty and you twist that in and then it's gonna, gonna hold our weight there. This twist lock system is a little bit harder to repair in the field. You have to take it apart and fiddle around with this guy here to make it work. So this one usually doesn't last as long. A little bit hard to repair this twist lock system. So not 
my preferred. I actually like these flick locks a little bit better and you're gonna see more flick lock poles uh, on the market usually, uh, especially from the, the better brands.